Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's been a long, hot, dry summer, and I've had an awful lot of smoke here in the shop. My leather is starting to dry out. Um, I tried, I've tried using olive oil and avocado oil like they recommend in order to keep the, the leather moist, but um, it's just not working. And from what I've read, leather needs things like tallow and beeswax in order to keep it supple. So what I did is yesterday, I made my own leather balm out of top secret ingredients, so don't tell anybody. And I'm going to run a test. I'm going to put half of it on this piece of leather, this half, and the other half, I've ordered this, you know, commercial brand of uh, leather conditioner. So I'm going to see which one, you know, which one is better. And if I can make my own leather balm, what I'll do is I will get some little tins and I will put the leather balm in there and then ship it off with the belts and the wallets and, you know, portfolio covers. Because a lot of you guys are asking me how, how do you condition, you know, your belts or your uh, portfolio covers to keep them from drying out. So that's what we'll do. All right. First, we'll do mine. Now it's not as um, it's not as creamy. It's a little bit harder than the um, the fill beans. So I might adjust the recipe a little bit so it's a little bit more creamier. But uh, this isn't this isn't bad. Now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to rub the conditioner on the um, on the leather. I just used the back of my thumb now to get a glob there. And by rubbing, you're creating friction and heat, and that is supposed to be what helps this conditioner be absorbed by the leather. Okay, now, as you can see, that didn't do such a bad job of it. Let me get that light source a little bit better. There we go. That didn't do such a bad job on that leather. Trick is going to be letting it set for a few minutes and let it absorb but that that's nice it's almost it's almost like hot stuffed leather a little it's a little waxy um, it's got a nice feel to it let's let it sit and now we'll use the uh, fill beans or Aussie, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use it on the right side here. Now you're supposed to let this stuff set and then you're supposed to buff it out with something uh, soft like a terry cloth these are these are little cloths from Tandy they're really smooth on one side soft 
and canvassing on the back side. Uh, that is for burnishing leather edges. Let's go ahead and buff out the side with my leather bomb on it. Now for me, I'm not interested in like the leather really being shiny. I just want it to be conditioned and feel soft and supple. Also, if it would rehydrate the leather a little bit and make it last longer. Wow, that's that's nice. Honestly, both sides look nice. If you can see this. Hard to say with that light, but hopefully you can see. This is my side. This is the uh, fill beans. And what I can tell you is, already... I like my side better. And I do because it's a little bit more waxy. Feels a little softer. And it honestly looks smoother than the other side. So I wish this camera would pick this up. See if it'll do the job. So this is my side. And I'm not sure you can see the waxy difference. That's the fill bean side. Back out here a little bit. Maybe you can see the difference. At any rate, uh, what I will do is I will probably loosen this up a little bit so it's not so chapsticky consistency and uh, start tinning it up and then send it out to you guys. Uh, I appreciate all of y'all and um, you know letting me make leather goods for y'all. And hopefully you like what you're getting. And if you're not, by all means, let me know. And I will correct anything I make for you. Because after all, this is the brotherhood. So we try to take care of each other. Have a good day. Be careful. Be safe out there.